Have you ever been to a circus? You can see acrobats, clowns, trained animals, jugglers and so much more. Have you noticed the colourful circus tent and its shape? Here we have a model of a circus tent. We need to make a canvas tent just like this one. To do that, we need to know how much canvas is required. The surface area of the tent will give us the measure of the required canvas. While calculating the surface area, let's keep the door of the tent closed. How do we do that? Let's see. You can see here that the tent is a combination of two shapes. Today, we are going to find the curved surface area of this tent. Let's separate the two portions. Well, the upper portion of the tent is a cone which is open at the bottom. The lower portion of the tent is a cylinder which is open at both the ends. Let's find the curved surface area of each shape separately. Let's take the cylinder first. This surface of the cylinder is called the curved surface of the cylinder. The cylinder is an open cylinder. That is, it does not have the upper and the lower circular bases. Now, let's open the cylinder and see how it looks. Once done, this is how it looks. We've got a rectangle. This means that the curved surface area of a cylinder is the same as the area of the rectangle formed by opening it. We know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. The length of the rectangle is actually the circumference of the base of the cylinder that is equal to 2 pi r. The width of the rectangle is actually the height of the cylinder that is equal to h. So, the curved surface area of the cylinder is equal to 2 pi r times h, that is 2 pi r h. Now, let's take the second portion, the cone. Let's open this cone to see how it looks. Once done, this is how it looks. We've got a sector of a circle here. This means that the curved surface area of a cone is the same as the area of the sector formed by opening it. We've divided it into four equal small sectors. We can divide this sector into more equal sectors which are always even in number. As you can see, these sectors almost look like triangles. Let's place these sectors next to each other like this. What do you observe here? The shape we have got now is almost a parallelogram. This means that the curved surface area of a cone is the same as the area of the parallelogram now formed. Height of the parallelogram is equal to roughly the slant height of the cone is equal to L. These two bases of the parallelogram together form the circumference of the base of the cone. So, the base of the parallelogram is approximately half the circumference, that is, 1 by 2 times 2 pi r. Therefore, base is equal to pi r. The curved surface area of the cone is equal to, the area of the parallelogram is equal to, the base into height is equal to pi r into l is equal to pi r l. Hence, the curved surface area of the circus tent is equal to the sum of the curved surface area of the cylinder and the curved surface area of the cone. This is equal to 2 pi r h plus pi r l or pi r times 2 h plus l. This is how we find the surface area of a circus tent. We can decide on the values for the radius and height of the cylinder and the slant height of the cone, substitute these values in the formula and calculate the area of the canvas required. Please note that this activity does not give an exact proof of the formula for the curved surface area of the cone 
and the approximation improves by increasing the number of divisions which is an even number of the sector.